Alfred of Wessex seeks to unite the idols under one banner. Hello there everyone and welcome back to Thrones of Britannia. The Norman invasion continues, but not only that, we have a Viking invasion in the north and uh, as I'm told, I believe also, well, the, I believe those in the north are Danish Vikings. Now the Norwegians have turned up as well, coming at uh, somewhere up in Scotland. We haven't really got any news on that just yet. As you can see, the um, Normans are now laying siege to my capital. However, the reinforcement armies has arrived. You can see him in grey there up in the corner don't think he will be able to help in case they attack um, but I have pretty good defenses in the capital so hopefully we'll be able to hold this uh, however I don't believe this to be the battle that we're gonna see in this video instead we're gonna do some other things so right so we've got Never. a uh, not that great army They've lost all their horsemen, but they don't really need them in the siege, do they? It's my capital, so I'm expecting something a little bit different in terms of what town they're actually going to show on the battle map. Um, but right now, we're not going to defend the capital. Um, we can see the Normans have gone ashore here. They haven't really taken anything here yet. Uh, I do have Ufa up here, but I'm hoping they actually take some of these stuff so I can take it. Um, and then we've got the invasion over here as well. And then if we go north, one thing that I sort of think about is, uh, have been thinking about, is this army right here. Um, I'm planning to raise, we're gonna raise another army with this guy, Vien Gum. Uh, Vien Gum, best general ever. Um, we're gonna raise. That option is not yet an army under his command. We don't have a lot of troops, do we? To it's going to be a lot of sh shit troops. But it just it this army is mostly just to support this one army to give them a bit of more meat, and then I'll see about striking these guys out because right now we've got three areas here. The thing is, um, I think the longer I wait no. to attack these, the worse it's going to be for these guys because I, I bet that they are way over limit over the amount of troops they can have with the settlements they hold. Now, they hold a lot of uh, grain farm there. And what the what is this place? Oh, it's also another one. So they have t two. Great. So they have loads of food from those places. However, for this place, we're hoping that they don't have a lot of food. Oh, God damn it! they've got granary. So they've got tons of food. Um, so it might be better to strike uh, sooner so before later. Um, so I'm, we're just going to pick a lot of these units that haven't been recruited yet. The archers. Um, scout, cavalry, I guess all the skirmishers. Raise everything. And uh, then this army will help this one out, get rid of those, and go through here, get rid of those areas. Up here, we've got the Danish have landed. So, uh, Edward, the uh, heir to the throne. And we have this guy, the Wild Hawks army, is ready to storm in. But obviously, we're not going to go ahead and attack before... Uh, we can claim as much land without actually going to war with this faction. The I don't know why they changed their name from. I think they were called. They were they had a silly name to begin with. I think they were called Alklut, Alklut, or whatever. Um, but now they changed. Stra there we have it. Strathclut, Strathclut. I don't know. I'm trying to say it in a weird Scottish accent. Strathclough! Um, <laughs> right. Um, and then they went ahead and changed it to what are they called now? They called like. Jirhinugulden. Like, who the hell is supposed to pronounce that? Jirhinugulden. Right. So, and then I just got word 
that apparently. Let's see if I still have that. So still, yes, Viking invasion of the Norse. So we got another invasion coming in here of, I guess these are supposed to be the the Norwegians. They sailed around here. They they missed quite a bit and then they went. Oh shit! They deja vu and they landed here. I don't know. They tried a flank maneuver with the Danish attacking from the front. Great plan, Norway. Um, so with that said, we are. What am I going to do this round then? We're going to try out the catapults. That's what we're going to. Mangonel, sire. All forces in good I wish I had trebuchets though. Um, so this army right here is within striking distance of this one, and they have split their forces. So they have superior numbers together. They are. They have more men than I do. I wish I could actually set up here. Maybe. Not really. Probably better to defend the town. Um, so, together, if they've gone together, they would have been better together. Um, obviously, they would have more men, and I wouldn't maybe be able to attack them, since this is a newly recruited army. But since they've gone ahead and split the force, I'll be able to crush this one, and then go for this one, and I can use the catapults on my own town here. And to burn it down to the ground. This one, I'm pretty confident, will be able to uh, kick these guys out. Hopefully before they take over the town, but we can see... We well, I've got this army to defend it. We've out. got this army coming Victory up. Is um, the Death Givers, they give death. The men and then trained. Alfred's chosen men with the old crusty old Alfred in the lead. Oh, you know what? I can upgrade him. Retrain! Ah, oh, yes! I had completely forgot out. about that. I Ready upgraded... That. Are you... Okay, I can't retrain you. Clearly, maybe it was just Alfred I needed to retrain. Uh, we were able to upgrade through here to professional bodyguards before we had very unprofessional ones. Uh, and so we had a load of good stuff going in there. Um, and I'm also kind of taking the sacrifice at this point. I realized that it's probably pretty good to um, have these even though they will take a lot of upkeep in food, but I will be able to replenish um, the forces a lot quicker, or the actual units that I will recruit. Uh, I'm gonna go through here. I guess all the others have been... Uh, it's not possible, maybe, because he's moved, or maybe... I guess everyone else has it. Without further ado... Ladies and gentlemen, we waited long enough. Let's see about the these having these serve. catapults smashing some Norman heads. Let battle commence. Right, so it actually puts it in their favor. They slightly outnumber us uh, in manpower. Can I see? Mm, pretty good, the bloody Normans. But I have catapults! So that hopefully is going to turn the tide. With that said. You know what? Let's take a look. But just before we go in, I want to see what are we going to expect on the ground. Just flat ground. I wish they... Well, we can kind of see that hill that's behind here. Not re really interesting. Maybe I can fight so we get the town in the middle. That would be interesting to fight in the town. Plus, if we're able to funnel them through town, uh, they will all clump up and it'll be easy target for my uh, novice catapult men, which probably going to burn down the town anyways. Right, with that said, now we're going to jump into the battle, shall we? Right, so quite good. We actually will be able to quite quickly move into town as I start right here. And we have the enemy right over there, so most likely we're actually going to get kind of a, a uh, city battle. Not city battle, town battle. This is not a city. This is... A few hovels cramped together. Right, so the plan is to move in quickly, cover this area, and then cover either side of it. Catapults yeah, back here, look at these. Hopefully I, maybe I can go in, into them. Um, looks like they just fire stone, unfortunately. I would have wished we could fire something that we could set on fire. Maybe the entire village would go up in smoke. I just realized this entire army has no archers. It's going to be a slight problem. I didn't think about that. With that said, however, 
Let's go ahead and start this jungle. Gonna get my sword men. You're gonna go over here. We're gonna get our spearmen. They're gonna go over here. These swordmen. Kind of in reserve to these guys, but also. Gonna move to hold this flank. General took care not to say the king there, because it's not the king. And then the catapults. Can I take control of them? And fire. Yes, I can. Haha! Ooh, way! Ooh. Them surprised. How have they surprised us? Right, you know what? Let them have it. Let those stones fly. Okay, given that they have a load of missiles, we better. Ooh, here comes the stones! Bam! Didn't kill anyone, though. So disappointed by that. Okay, so the enemy. There we go, there we killed a few. They go straight forward, these guys. They fall into my trap. Look, they send everything just down here. Now it's just about my. Jesus Christ. I think we just shot our own men there with a catapult. Catapults! Oh, where do I tell you to hold, fi hold fire? Shoot at the general. Right, and I have my cavalry. I didn't tell you about those guys. Hidden over there. We're gonna first get rid of this guy, then we're gonna bloody well end them. Right. Um, Our general is under attack. The spearmen go direct. Or the their enemy cavalry go directly for my spearmen, and I thought that was gonna be bad for them, but they seem to have killed quite a few of my men in the process. Um, unfortunately, my catapults actually shot quite a few of my own guys here. Um, they be seeming to... Sh the enemy seem to be shooting my general pretty bad as well. Let's go ahead and make sure the main line holds. Right, my men have been able to win over there. I'm gonna have my cavalry sweep away the enemy. However, my no, not my catapults. They haven't been that useful, anyways. Why don't you just run away? Right. We need to. Oh, you know what? I kind of want my catapults. God damn it. Um. Unfortunately, my catapults are gone. But it would have been nice once we'd actually surrounded these guys to take control of the catapults myself. And then uh, fired into this mess. I'm wondering, I might have to send the general in here. If I do, seems this area seems. Oh, god damn it. Right. Okay, so my cavalry. Did they get the archers? No, you didn't. Swordmen. Line up. Got two really small units over here. Right, my swordmen getting into play. Those Norman archers. Gone. Cavalry still alive, which is good. Okay, so if we look at this, we can see a lot of their men are tired. Or they have red pants, which they actually do. If you go close. They all got red pants, so... And we have green. Does that... Is that correct? No, we've got striped pants, so... Clearly that's something they need to work out. Uh, spearmen get their general and let's uh, make sure that the enemy is now surrounded let's see if we can get their general 
really need to... Uh, the enemy general is dead. Oh. That went rather quick. Strike now. Bastard is dead. Which is great. Um, what I'm going to do... Is we're going to stand two units. To reinforce over here. The general... You didn't notice me almost saying the king. Um, it's gonna move over there. And the other two. It's gonna move around to enforce. Can okay, you're not gonna go that way though. It's gonna move there, we're gonna go around. I hope my cav um, my cavalry my I hope my catapults survive. So the famous battle here where the Normans were trapped in a village. They were lured in. Okay, let's have the general charge in. Join in the battle. Let's have the extra spearmen join in. And maybe it's time to break those spear or those, uh, those walls. Right, and then the spearmen here come in to add on to the fight in the middle. And then it's just a slow slugfest. I met oh, maybe not as the uh, enemy, or some of them were retreating. Let's see if I can get the spearmen in there. Get in there, we can probably throw a wedge in between here, splitting these parts off, which don't like the situation right now. So we can annihilate this bit. And then focus in on these guys. You Normans might be strong, but there's nothing that compares to Anglo-Saxon steel. So it sound like a pro. Get on with it. Need to block them here. The battle is turning in our favor. We need to check this bit right here, so no one's hiding there. Okay, so they really falling apart over here, so it's only one unit. Let's make sure no large units escape this battle. Come on, these spearmen. They possibly can't hold, can they? Tell everyone to drop their guard mode. Okay, we, get, we don't need ev There we go. So now all of these go surround the Mortal Kombat people. Didn't I send the cavalry unit to deal with you? It would have added to the battle if the houses were on fire. Go on. Slow. Oh, I, I just realized. We're fighting in a cabbage patch. So there's blood and cabbage. Oh! No wonder it's not going too well. Move forward to attack. Jesus Christ. Imagine being these guys back here. Yeah, I'm part of the fighting. Woohoo! Bang my shield! Whoa! Oh, these guys. Oh, mm, yeah, I see an opening. Any time now. Mm, yes. Mm, it's just that you're like a hundred meters away from the actual fighting. These guys not doing anything. Come on, move up. You know what? I can dismount some of the cavalry and get them in. Look at how it looks from above. We can see our, li our line is a little bit thin here. 
If the Normans want to get out, I would push through here. But they're not actually looking this way. And they're leaving towards the stronger part. Now there we've got a few Normans are able to break free. Oh, they're not even... It's not that they uh, they were retreating. They actually did break free. However, my cavalry will smash them up against the wall. Oh, you thought it would be easy to invade England, did you? Well, now you're falling apart. There is not a lot left of these guys now. There we go. Victor was achieved. All infantry will slaughter the enemy. And we lost a lot of men though in this slugfest. And I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to uh, quickly move on as I had uh, hoped to get the other army. But at least we slaughtered tons of Normans. So this entire army is going to be hopefully completely annihilated. So I don't have to deal with these guys again. And with that said, let's hope our catapult survived. And uh, let's end this battle, shall we? Right, so looking at it right here, we lost about 800 men, but the enemy seemed to have lost the entire army except for 69 men. <laughs> and yes, they were utterly slaughtered. And judging by all the blood here, they were slaughtered. Ah, oh, no, my catapults. Um, they did actually kill quite a few when they were operating. They might have actually killed quite a few of my own as well. Did we capture? We captured 239, so that is 11% replenishment, which I think is okay. And we've got one of the Normans, Norman bastards. We are actually within range to jump on and take on these guys. No, obviously I'm going to do it then, and we're going to end you today at Brideport. Um, oh look at that, it's really even, it's only, there's a difference of two men, and I do have cavalry, they have none, they do have really good Norman troops though. What does the battlefield look like? Like, or what does Brideport look like? Okay, so we actually start on a hill, the enemy starts below, that's nice, none of us have any archer or anything. Maybe they'll come to us. Who knows? Probably not. Um, right. With that said, let's go ahead. What does night attack? Night attack is going to put it a little bit in our favor, but I don't think it's going to do anything. So let's go ahead and attack. So if we haven't seen uh, the new type of bodyguard, here they are. Um, I can't really remember what's the difference between these guys and the last ones. I do notice that we actually have our crest, that uh, serpent dragon thing. So they. Ha oh, wait, have I forgot a unit? Oh, it's a small cavalry unit. I guess we can have that on the scouting on this side. Um, that wasn't actually that clever of me to put the cavalry over here, because I'm hoping. That the spearmen gonna be able to come in on the flank, and then the swordmen, being the main battle line, will will slug it out with the enemy, and then the cavalry and the spearmen will loop around and attack them in the back. Um, I told the AI to put my army as it wished. I don't know why I put the general. 
over in the corner. Okay, they kind of clumped up at this point. Which is perfect for me. Because it's going to be easier to surround them then. We're going to hold back though a bit. Get there, the king come through here. Let's see if we can get my spearman in. And we'll see if the cavalry can join in. Our general is under attack. So it doesn't actually look too good right now. It didn't really look good to start with either. The enemy approaches. The enemy approaches? Cavalry come in, in between there. Okay, we actually broke this one. But I can see a lot of my men might be breaking. The greatest charge. Right here into the general's back. And his ooh cut his head off. I'm not entirely sure how well these guys with the uh, big axes are against fighting cavalry, but we definitely uh, really screwed up his general here. My general and his bodyguard are fighting good over here. Um, the enemy general is dead. Yes, that is what I want to know. And the cavalry basically didn't lose anyone in that charge. We're going to have to redirect them now, though, to get another part of the enemy force. The battle is turning in our favor. It certainly is. So we crushed that front line and now they're slowly falling apart as the general of course is dead. And even though you can see a lot of these units get that little red thing meaning that it's not really the best target for my men. But uh, we still keep defeating them. With the cavalry coming in. So we broke this part here. Get these guys in, surround the enemy. Oh, the enemy doubled down and tries to break through here to get away from the cavalry which clearly wasn't that great of a plan and boom seven minutes and I was able to slaughter the entire enemy army only losing about 300 men and we don't need really to chase the Normans down either because uh, we, are we are victorious and we fought in a town which means that they will uh, be destroyed. Wonderful! This uh, invasion force has been destroyed. Now we only have two others to deal with. We have one by Jesu. And here we have the statistics. So we lost 323 men while the enemy lost more or less everything. Um, kind of funny how their army is called the Slain Warriors. Because that is surely what they are. 
Looking at the highest killer on my side, cavalry did a lot, but we can also see that my swordmen held out pretty well, killing loads of enemies. Um, the enemy did not do that well. They have a few units, but I guess I think it's a lot to do with me being able to surround them, the cavalry charge and so forth. But um, I don't know what their stats are because when I, I when I click on my units and drag the sword over, it sort of gets that red triangle. It means that um, they're not really optimal at fighting against them. It was a hard fight. But clearly that didn't really matter because we slaughtered these guys r really, really well. Right, let's go back to the campaign map, shall we? And we have taken it. 175 captured plus 10% from actually friend. taking back the town. Um, there was a rank 2 general. You this guy should get a... Yeah, he should indeed. Champion is what he is. Um, and hopefully, how long does it take for these to replenish? Ten turns. Jeez, is there any way I can speed that up? All right, we're gonna, we're not gonna be able to see catapults again for ten turns. That makes me very sad that I just threw them away in that other battle. We'll be able to retake the town now. And. This guy definitely deserves a medal and maybe some extra troops. Why don't we put in two of these and that'll be nice. Next time around I think we're gonna fight around here. But I don't know. Right. With that said, let's go ahead and end it right here and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!